You might have noticed I'm using a double blade paddle sometimes on this trip. That is to save my wrists. The constant J stroking and correction strokes are causing repetitive stress injuries on my wrists, which are also uh, already in bad shape because of excessive computer use working a desk job. So I find this helps a lot. This worked different muscles and yesterday those muscles got tired too, but I could go back to a single blade at that point. So being able to use both is, is quite nice. I'm really liking it so far. This is an Aquabound Stingray paddle. It's a carbon blade, so it's extremely lightweight and I'm still getting the hang of this double blade thing. Like I'm sure my stroke is terrible, but it doesn't really matter right now. I'm still moving really fast and saving my wrist. Anyway, I'm very happy with it. I, this is the 250 centimeter one. Like this was the longest one I could get you know, within a reasonable time frame. I think you can custom order longer ones. I wish I had a 260, even 270 would be better. I know some people have very strong opinions about double blade paddles, like they're blasphemy. And I kind of get it because the single blade is like iconic and it's part of the beauty of a canoe. This, this is function, you know, like this is for my wrists. It's just a practical thing to do. And there is no question about its efficiency. Again, I'm not a good double blade paddler. I'm just a beginner and I'm already seeing the, the benefits. So. And with a, a, a not appropriately sized paddle too. So. You can't argue with results. For a little spot like that, I really prefer the single blade paddle. For turning on a dime or any little intricate situation, I'd much rather have this for control. This paddle has this easy adjustable feathering system and I didn't think I would like feathering, but I actually like it a lot. It really improves my, um, the ergonomics of my stroke. And what that does, if you're not familiar, is it turns one blade out of axis. So what that means is that I, I have to rotate my wrists less. I feel like like it just one stroke flows into the next like it a lot. I'm uh, feathering it like 30 or 45 degrees. I would go back to the single blade paddle, but now that I know how much faster I can go with the double blade and I have not had wrist pain, I can't remember the last time I took a significant canoe trip without significant wrist pain. So that is fantastic. I'm really overjoyed about that. But yeah, now I can't give it up. <laughs> I guess I'm a double blader. Still learning the stroke though, of course. I'm sure it's terrible. I also just wish this one was longer. I feel like I can't fully extend without bringing the blade over the boat and gripping a lot, so it's impacting my stroke, but it's still very fast. I'm at the end of my 200 kilometer trip, finishing it in eight days, I really believe it would have taken me nine with a single blade. And I think I would have been in a lot more discomfort from my wrist. So yeah, first impression has been fantastic. Love it. We'll definitely be taking this out again for long solo trips. And I'm interested to try it with tandem paddling too.